This is a rather more complicated picture just to show you the range of things we do. On the left, you see a CTA showing the vessels of the lung with the heart in the middle. And then you see the other way of seeing it. We've threaded a catheter up through from the groin through the heart into the pulmonary artery, and you see all the vessels. So this is an angiogram of the arteries and veins of the right lung. Our catheter came up from the groin. It passes through the inferior vena cava, through the two heart chambers to the lung. There it is. And the black stuff is dye that we're injecting. And we actually see a thing called a pulmonary arteriovenous malformation. Everybody can see it, I'm sure, but I'll help you. There it is. So this is a connection between one side of the circulation and the other. So instead of going through the lung and picking up oxygen and all that good stuff, it's just doing a bypass. And you'll see the arrow showing you the bypass. This is how the blood is flowing out into the periphery of the lung and then coming back. So that is a malformation in the lung. If that were to be treated, you'd have to have open heart surgery with a bypass. But I guess what I'm going to show you is how we can treat it just with one of our catheters so that you can really get the scope of what interventional radiology is. So here we are. We've placed a catheter all the way up there, and we've deployed this device, which looks like that. It's called a vascular plug. So this is a representation of what we do. We put a catheter in, and now we put the device in, and then we draw the cover back, and it opens up, and it blocks it. So that is the nature of the kind of work we're doing. Kind of neat, very small diameter tools that go in and allow you to do all sorts of other things. There it was, the AVM. Here is the blockage. You see it's nicely blocked. The contrast comes there and doesn't go any further. And here's a finished film showing no longer that big round thing which allowed the connection between the artery and the vein. Now, why is that important? Because if you had some clots going through your heart, normally they'd get caught in the vein, and would, in, in the lungs, and wouldn't do any problem. They wouldn't cause you any discomfort at all. If you have that bypass, they could go straight shooting into your arterial system, to your brain, to your kidneys, to your legs. So you have to treat these pulmonary arteriovenous malformations.